I don't know if it's just me, but I love money. Money's so good. And in Mountain Blade, having money is even better. Like, it's so good. Now you're probably wondering, Hef, how do you get rich? How do you make money? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's very, very simple. There's a few ways you can make money in the early game of Mountain Blade. Um, there's a, there's a, the safer options and there's slightly more dangerous options, but either way, you're going to get rich and that's all that matters. You can talk to merchants around the map and you can find out what cities are selling certain items for more and you can go and buy those materials and then you can sell them at that city. See, for me, that's too much effort. That's, uh, you know, it, it, it takes a bit of time. My favorite way is to get a blunt weapon, and you can tell if it's a blunt weapon because it's got a B next to it when you hover your mouse over it, and basically go around and just knock everyone out. Knock everyone out. Just everyone. Just every everything. Make sure to put some of those leveling points into charisma and then into prisoner management so that you can gather more prisoners, because the more prisoners that you have, the more money you'll make when you sell them to ransom brokers. I think this is not just one, that it's, it, it's a fun way of making money, because not only do you capture them, you also get all of their belongings, which you can also sell as well. And that is what I've been doing non-stop if you watched the last episode, and you know what? It's been great, it's been great. For mid to late game, making money, you can either, you know, you can obviously be a part of a faction or own your own faction. You can make money off settlements and villages. Winning tournaments is also a nice way of making money. Um, some mods like to reward you a ridiculous amount of money. I believe native gives you around about three grand if you bet on yourself as well. So yeah, there's a few ways of making money. Let's get on with the episode. And speaking of money, thank you to my patrons. I know it's only a few of you, but you know what? I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And if anyone wants to donate to my patron, you know what? Bloody do it. Do it. You wouldn't. 197 days. Wow. Can't- I just can't wait. I just can't wait. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. It's just gonna be awesome. Where are the Ransom Brokers? Where are the Ransom Brokers? Because if you can't tell, I have 20 prisoners with me. 20! Look at these. Look at all these pirates and bandits. Scum. Gonna sell them for a- for a nice price, I think. A nice, nice price. So since the last episode, I have just been going around killing sea raiders, knocking them out, selling them, over and over and over. We've managed to rack up 13 grand, which is actually not bad for, I would still consider, early game. Obviously money is very good. Money means you can have more troops, it means you can do other things as well. Money just opens up a lot of opportunities. Man, where are these ransom brokers, man? I said, when I actually need them, they all disappear. They all disappear. Come on, come on. Give me a ransom. Ooh! Companion. I forgot who you are, Bunduk. My name is Bunduk. See, he was a sergeant in the garrison here at Dehirim. 20 years I stood guard. 20 years? Good. Alright, fair enough. If you're looking for work, um, God. You know, do you want know to love about Native? Of how cheap all the companions are. You play, like, you know, you play a, a World of Ice and Fire, and you get companions which are worth, like, 30,000 or so on. But saying that, though, they are absolutely amazing. But, uh, yeah, oh my god, how refreshing to pay for companions which are only, like, this cheap. It's fantastic. Um, so as you know, um, companions fight. There's a lot of companions here that don't get along, uh, don't get along with each other very well. Um, and one or two have left, but I'm sure I'll find them again. It's just a matter of time. But yeah, so, there, there is a, you can, oh, here we go. Oh no, it's just telling me about the city. So you can look online, and you can look up different, like, groups of companions which will get on together. Um, so if you ever, if you're ever playing this game, and you're a bit sick of your companions moaning about each other, you can just go online and look for a group of companions, and basically get rid of the ones that, you know, are causing trouble, and keep the ones that are, that, which aren't. And yeah, of course we have a ransom broker as well. And also all the prisons I have, over two grand, two point two grand for those. That's that's insane. So now we're sitting on fifteen grand. Amazing. So now, now that we're kind of you know entering the mid game, it's time to maybe consider becoming a mercenary for a faction. Now I don't know which faction to join. There's a uh, plenty to choose from. Um, but I am um, at the same time though you don't really make a lot of money. I need to try and think about what do I get out of being a mercenary. One, you get that you know you can. You can do a lot of things without getting in trouble, like raiding villages. Well, you, well the, the village will still hate you, but but you can still do other stuff like that as well. It's um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So for those who don't know, um, I am using a custom banner pack. So all of these logos, uh, this is from a very very old series. Um, this is from my old 
Anno Domini series. Um, that's my old, old YouTube logo. Oh, I actually have, a, actually have another one over here. That's my old, well, that's kind of the same logo that I have now. It's just a little bit different. Um, what we, oh, yeah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, for those who are interested, um, join my Discord server. And um, you can download this banner pack for yourself. If you're interested, it's all it's all there. Oh, Katrin. I think she's a companion as well. Join me. Cut the chit chat. Just join me. So if we look at my army, it's actually looking not bad, is it? We got six of these sharpshooters, which are the, the best Rodok crossbowmen that you can get. We have a few sergeants, we got a few mercenary crossbowmen infantry. Um all around, a pretty solid little army. I think it could really put up a fight against anyone. Obviously not anyone, but uh yeah. You know what I mean. Alright, so we're back in uh, Sea Raider territory. There's a... Oh my god, there's, there's gonna be 52. 52 Sea Raiders. I... You know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. You know, it's been a long time since... Uh, you know, this has been a long time coming. This is gonna be the ultimate fight. The ultimate fight. I'm ready. Alright, boys. This isn't the time to miss. This is the time to hit your targets. Can't stress this enough. We're versing a lot of enemies right now. Uh, I think it's time to keep them busy because there's there, there's just a lot of troops coming in, um my way. So, oh, I missed. Let's see if we can uh, thin out the crowd a little bit, shall we? I oh, know we're losing some losing some crossbowmen. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Charge infantry! How they're running. Yeah, run! Yeah! I'm absolutely terrifying. I wouldn't fight with me. Oh my god, this is absolutely stressful, isn't it? As soon as my shield breaks, that's when sweat mode activates. Ow. Good thing is they don't all have helmets, and that's uh That's when they go down pretty easily. There we go. Wow, look at that. We only lost one. See, I'd call that a success. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. We're at 20 again. I might actually hire some of these troops as well. Why not? Why not? Nord Warriors. Sure. Lots of new armor. Um, we can give these, give these to some companions as well because we do have a few new ones. Very nice. And they're complaining again. That's all they bug to do. All they do is complain. Your pardon, sir? Oh my god. Shut up! Well, we have a tournament here. Let's uh, definitely join this tournament because... I like tournaments, and it's uh, good for me. And the oh yes, look at this. We've got a Nord, a Nordic themed tournament. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, breeze through this, and I'll see you at the end. Oh, oh, I think I almost, I think I almost lost that. I was, uh, I did a big jump at the end there, and I, oh, <laughs> uh, it's doing that bug again. We keeps playing bloody torment music like nonstop. Oh my god, let me see if I can. Uh... No, it still plays. Okay, all right, where were we? All right, fantastic. Oh my god, I've uh, received an offer of vassalage. King Ragnar of the Kingdom of Norse has sent you a royal herald to bring you an invitation to his own hand. You'd be granted an honor of becoming a vassal lord of the kingdom of Nords, and in return, King Ragnar asks you to swear an oath of homage to him and fight his military campaigns, offering you the fief of Fenenda. Fen, yeah, cool. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to take this. I know the goal for this series is uh, world domination, but you know what? we're a long, long way from being able to even have our own faction. And you know what? I saying that we probably could, very, not easily, but we could go and take our own faction. Obviously. A very, very cheesy way of doing this is that because this faction here is very, very 
weak in siege battles. They are quite easy to take out, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, also, where's our village? We um, where's our village? Let's go characters. Oh no, I've, I've actually got to, I've actually got to go talk to him, don't I? There we go. Fair enough. I've literally spent the last maybe ten minutes trying to find King Ragnar. Every time I go somewhere, he's somewhere else. He's doing. He's literally avoiding me. He's doing triangles and I don't know. This is. I've never struggled this much to find someone in my life. You know, I'm I'm tempted just to you know what, give up and not take this bloody invitation because well, I'm gonna ask this guy where where he is now. Um, just to ask you something. Location of someone, King Ragnar. It's tra traveling to Sargoth. Ugh. Ah, I found the bastard. Here we go. Found him. Thank you, my honor. Alright. There we go. So we now have a thief. That is, this is our village right here. Which is actually a really good location. It's right next to the capital, which is surprisingly, because normally they give you something like, you know, really, really far away. Um, so this is cool. So now we start making money off this village, which is nice. And, um, yeah. We can also manage this village, we can build a manor, we can build a mill, and all these different buildings will have different benefits. Um, I think most importantly is the, like the school, the manor, and the mill. Um, the manor is actually not that, not that good, I think, yeah. So it just halves your wages when you're resting there. Um, it costs 8,000 to build, so not the best. The mill is better because this increases the prosperity by 5%, which is pretty good. As a party member with the highest engineering skill, which is zero. I thought I had someone with engineering. Oh, anyway. So that's going to cost 6,000, that, but that will increase the prosperity, and as long as we keep it safe, this should be a pretty, pretty good way of making some early money. And since we do have the money and we're not really using it, I will go on and build that. Um, I swear I had someone with engineering. Or maybe he left me. He, he, you know what, he probably left because everyone's salty. Now that we're part of the Nords, this does mean we're at war with factions now, and uh, it's not going to be as safe traveling around. We do need to be a bit more careful because... Before, we'd only have to worry about um, deserters, bandits, and sea raiders, which weren't any trouble anymore since we had an army big enough to take out any size. Um, but now we have to watch out for a few other factions. So we neighbor the Swadians, and they're, the Nords and the Swadians always go to war with each other. Um, we're currently at war with the Kingdom of the Vegas. Alright, let's take out this guy. Let's show up. Let's see if we can put up a fight. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Oh, we actually got help. <laughs> well, that kind of ruins the purpose, doesn't it? But anyway, this is pretty cool. They're just going to charge instantly, so that's that's cool. They can just do their thing. A little tip when you're getting your troops into position. If you tell your archers to hold fire, they get into position a lot faster because they don't try and shoot while they're, while they're moving. And then you can tell them to fire at will. Just, um, I find it a bit easier, personally. Uh, I just charge infantry in. Um, pretty sure we're going to mince through them anyway. There we go. Wonderful. Our first victory against a faction. Wonderful. You're now my prisoner. Yes, you are. You're my prisoner because you're worth money. And I actually need to get rid of some of these sea raiders because I want to get this knight, which is worth way more. Um... There we go. Wonderful. And you know what? Let's, let's just take it all. Wonderful. And companions are complaining. <laughs> okay, I really need the Ransom Broker. Like, I really need a Ransom Broker. Sargoff, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. I'm disappointed. Alright, so we get to pick a banner. Now, I'm probably going to go make one for myself. Like a brand new one for this series. But for now, uh, you know, we can just go through some of the other ones. So you may notice, like, so this one is different. Um, so my Discord community, we've made a quite a few in there for different people in there, and we've and we've added uh, we've added it uh, to the banner pack. Um, but as you can see, these are all custom made. These ones, um, a lot of them are from old series. This is from my old Parisno series. That's from my old Clash of Kings series. That one's from my very very old Clash of Kings series from like ten years ago. Not really. And um, that's from my World of Ice and Fire series. I've got two of those on there. Um, I've got a few different ones as well. And look, yeah, we've got Pixelated Apollo as well, because we love Pixelated Apollo, love you. Um, I've got my, like, my, um, my bike clan version. So we've got a Hef's Legion, Europe, North America, South America, Africa, Australia. And um, we've got John's banner over here. Oh, look, yes, Nightmare, Tavern. There we go, look at all these. Oh, and, and the Frank, thank you, Frank, 
Love you, Frank. You know, I actually might use this one. This is this is one I made for a series which I never actually did. So let's uh, pick this banner here. It's one of my favorite banners I've ever made. So yeah, I can't stress it enough. Join my Discord server because you know what? It's full of lovely people, and um, you might be get a banner one day. How cool is that? So for some reason, my luck with ransom brokers today is absolutely dreadful. Um, every time I don't need a ransom broker, I find one, and every time I do need one, I never do find one. So that's just fantastic. Also, my village is probably going to get attacked straight away. I'm not sure if it's like something to do with the files, but I swear it's so common. Once you get a village, people, um, the en like an, an enemy faction will just go after it straight away. As sort of like a punishment. Like, oh, you, you join them? Well, I'm going to burn your village down. All right. Come on. Yes. Yes. I get it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bearded man. Thank you. Now, there is a tournament here as well, and I might actually do another quick tournament because... Tournaments are really, really good for my reputation, and it's actually pretty good money as well. So yeah, I'm going to quickly breeze through this one once again, and I'll see you at the end. Another glorious victory. There we go. Almost four grand that time. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. So now we're sitting on... Oh, we're back to 16 grand. Look at that. Lovely. And I set the other 1600 for that. Thank you very much. Give me your money, mate.